Although it would seem to be the deepest muscle of the low back, the quadratus lumborum is, strangely enough, the deepest muscle of the abdomen. Stretching from the posterior ilium to the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae and 12th rib, this squat muscle is simply an abdominal muscle located on the posterior surface of the thorax. So my partner's prone on the table, and I'm going to begin by isolating the three bony landmarks that really isolate the location of the quadratus lumborum. The first bony landmark is going to be the 12th rib, which is located at the very bottom of the rib cage, of course. And I can find the surface of the rib cage, and after a while, my fingers sink into the flesh of the posterior abdomen. And at the very bottom, if I go back a little bit, at the very bottom of the rib cage, there is his 12th rib. And I can follow it medially to where it attaches here at the vertebrae. So first landmark is the 12th rib. Then we've got the posterior iliac crest. And there's his iliac crest. And I can follow it posteriorly to where it ends at the PSIS, that dimple of the low back. And then finally, the third bony landmark, or landmarks, will be the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae. So we know the spinous processes are here, and the transverse processes are going to be a good distance further lateral. So I'm going to set my fingers beyond the erector spinae and work my fingers at an angle, and there I can feel the bony ridge of the transverse processes. They're not like individual points, it's more like a ridge. Good. So now we've got the 12th rib, the posterior iliac crest, and the transverse processes. And in that space will be the quadratus lumborum. So let's check it. I'm going to just set my fingers into that space. I'm going to start laterally. And I'm going to ask my partner to go ahead and bring this hip toward this shoulder. Fabulous. And just a very small contraction, I can feel the QL contract. And go ahead and relax. Good. And now with the tissue relaxed, I can really get my finger into this space between the bottom of the rib cage and the top of the pelvis. Now, let's figure out where the erector spinae are in, in the midst of all this. Go ahead and raise your feet up slightly. Fabulous. And that action shows me where the erector spinae fibers are. And here's that lateral edge. And I know that there's the erectors, and the QL will be further lateral. Go ahead and relax. Good. And so I can avoid the erectors by getting right into this space for the quadratus lumborum. We can also access the quadratus lumborum in a sideline position. I can find that posterior iliac crest. I can find the bottom of the rib cage. And I can set my thumbs right into that space between those landmarks and ask my partner to go ahead and hike your hip just a pinch. There. And there's that edge and contraction of the quadratus lumborum. 